Hey beautiful, it's your fashion designer, your designer, Jimmy Lee. Hope all is going well. Um, to start off, remember guys, share the YouTube. We're growing and it's, 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 it's starting to get more and more fun too. Um, so definitely um, share it, of course subscribe. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And remember to hit that bell button so when we come up with a new video, you'll be the first to know. We're gonna do this together, we're gonna grow together and We'll be a family together. So what I want to talk about today is fashion and designers. So designer like, say the Prada, the Gucci, the Louis, the Chanel, Roberto Cavalli, uh, Burberry, they all go hand in hand in one thing. They're all trying to make a statement. It's how do you make a statement with the uh, fashion that you have, the fashion that you could afford, and uh, uh, how do you arrange it to, to give you that fashion forward designer look. It just takes one piece. It could be the belt, it could be the piece of jewelry, it could be the shoes, just one piece. If I see one good thing on somebody, I know right there they got it together. Now that doesn't mean you have to be able to afford that expensive one. It could be H&M, could be Zara, it could be something that's good that you feel that you can afford but is your designer piece. Somebody that really knows fashion is never gucci out from head to toe. Just not cool. Somebody that loves Louis and wants to show the 2021 line, that's good if you're going to that certain event. But on a regular basis when you go out, I like to have a little something. So you need a little something. It's just how do you afford it? Or what can you afford? Well, that's what you need me. Because I can help you. We don't do fake, because fake isn't me and you. Mm -mm. Has to be real. You only buy Louis from Louis, you only buy Prada from Prada. There are some stores that have department stores within the store, and that's okay. But never buy things online, baby, it ain't happening. It ain't real. It might be only a third of the price, or two thirds of the price, or 25% of the price. But if it ain't real, it ain't real. Has to be real, that's important. Second thing is you mix it up with a $10 shirt, like I have a Zara t-shirt on and I have a Roberto Cavalli shirt on over it. So the shirt may be expensive, but the t-shirt isn't, but the combination makes it look good. It makes somebody like me look at you twice. Most important thing is, is that you look at yourself twice. And sometimes when you have something expensive on, it makes us feel good. Remember like the first time you put on high heels or a man, you put on shoes and you're walking down it, it's like you feel special. Sometimes you feel like a grown up. Sometimes you just feel like elegant. Whatever it is, I need you to feel that every day. Doesn't have to be every moment of every day, but a moment every day. When people ask me what designer is my favorite designer out of that fufu line, I say Roberto Cavalli or Versace are my two favorites. And that's because they do a lot of colors and they mix it sometimes with black. I like black and I like that. My best fit would be Gucci. So if you want something that fits you fabulous and you can afford something Gucci, Gucci is the way to go. If you want something to say, I'm here, of course, Louis or Chanel is fabulous for that. Just that label, that CC or that big L, we know what's going on. So it's putting something really expensive on your body that makes us feel like a one of a kind. Now, I'm not saying you have to go out and buy a Louis or Versace because there's a lot of stuff that looks like it. I just don't want you to pretend that it is. So in other words, if somebody says, is, you know, is that a Louis? You can be honest and say, I don't remember who it is. That's okay. But don't lie because somebody like me would know what's a Louis and what's a Gucci and what's the Prada. I wouldn't ask you that question because I wouldn't put you in that place. But some people would. I just want us to be responsible, honest, and fashion. So in other words, that we take responsibility for the way we look and the labels that we put on. I never let a Versace wear me. I make sure I wear a Versace, which means it's never should be too much for me. Now today I have Gucci glasses on. Love the Gucci. 
and it makes me feel good. Now, do I have 10 of them? No. I have one pair of good Gucci glasses. So you don't need 10 of something to make us feel good. You just need one. I want to let you know that if you turn around and you're spending expensive money on socks or gloves, these accessories, I, I'm, I'm cool with it if you're into that level. But if you want a piece that you can use over and over again, then make it a shirt, make it a pant, most important, a belt or a shoe. Because then you can really accessorize it up. The one all black with a little Gucci belt, baby, you got it going. The important thing to know about these designers is they're just people like me and you. Tom Ford and Versace himself were people that knew what they do, but they had a lot of people underneath them that might even know more than them. So it's that combination. He used his staff to make him better. There's nothing wrong with that. Use me to make you better. I'm trying to learn this whole YouTube thing, guys. I'm trying to figure out how do you get to know me and how do I get to express myself better. Um, we all have things we don't like. As a fashion designer, I never had to talk. My work was this showpiece. What I did for, I worked with Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen once and they said, you know, I can listen to you all day. And I'm like, wow, but when I listen to myself, I don't like it. So I understand when you look in the mirror and you don't like what you see all the time, because we don't have to. But what we gotta do is realize that that's what we got. You know, I got this voice. You know, I, I, I say things different. But being different is what makes us special. Isn't that what the designer stuff do? They're all different. You know, Louis looks like Louis. I can tell you Louis a mile away because it's different. So why do we try to be like everybody else, but yet we want to design, we want to fashion ourselves to these designers that specialize in being different? It's weird, isn't it? Like we want to be a one of a kind, but at the same time, we want to blend. Maybe you can have both. That's why you do one good piece or two good pieces and mix it with other stuff. Black is always the best and safest color to mix and blend with. So throughout this YouTube thing, I'm, I, I met with a, a, a great family um, and, and uh, her name was, or her name is May. And she said to me, um, I feel connected from the moment we met. And I feel like I need to express that connection with you. But I need your help and I need your feedback. So we're going to learn fashion. Believe me, like when I did fashion shows and I did contests and my husband would laugh. He's like, oh, my God, there's eight of them. And I can just look at them. I'm like, I got them down because I know my stuff. And I want you to learn through me that took 30 years. Now, it may not take 30 minutes, but it's not going to take you 30 years to know what I know. I trust you. So fashion within means that you feel good from the inside. So no matter what you put on the outside, it's always going to look better. Got to have something good on the outside. But the inside makes the outside even look better when you feel good. A long time ago, I had an assistant and his mom said to me, you know, how do you how did you learn to like yourself so much? And I think it's called appreciation. I, 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 feel, I feel lucky because I, I appreciate all the effort that my parents and my family put into me to be a better person. And that appreciation, I think, comes out. And it comes out as love. Fashion, love, designer, Louis, Versace, Chanel, it's all good, babe. So loving yourself is the first step. Throwing on one good piece is the second. And if you can't afford it, then we're going to fake it, but not pretend that it's Louis. Because you're going to get to Louis. You're going to get to a Chanel. <clears throat> you already got to me. So Jimmy Lee says to you, dress yourself, babe. So 
Thank you for paying attention. Thank you for listening. I think I'm feeling a little bit more relaxed. I, I hope we're doing this together. So love you and love yourself. Thanks, guys.